this film was born when I was um, mixing my uh, last short at five o'clock in the morning when a friend of mine put a music like a drum and bass music mixed with Arabic music, something crazy. We are like tired, five o'clock in the morning, I start dancing. <laughs> and this is how, when I was dancing, I felt the need, because of my background of a dancer, to, to say and to, to say something like about a human being, about a normal person, but they are not that normal, they are a dancer. How to go through uh, this the stage how to go through like in all my life like uh, stage from stage from dance or as an actress on theater like we create a family and in this family there is a lot of things happen like in a normal family and this two par parallel was always intriguing me because there is a lot of similarity so the idea was to start with a show with a, with a, with a dancer but after that to go in a throw movie, the road movie, to dis deconstruct this beauty that we start with, and to go deep and deep and closer to our character, to this people, to this normal person, to understand what motivates them, who are they, and what life can do and what life can bring. For me, for me, actually, what was interesting in this story was as a kid watching my mom watch American or uh, Egyptian movies and seeing the stars are as bigger than life, as perfect people and the way she would talk about them and it seemed so weird to me that, you know, they must be normal beings like us and they do good things and bad things. And I, and I found that in Backstage. Backstage is the spectacle, is the show where everything is perfect. The actors are beautiful, the dancers, the costumes, the light, etc. And the film is about how to deconstruct and bring these people back to a certain humanity by seeing that they are similar to all of us. Well, uh, Afaf being from the world of dance, she had suggested the Sidi Larbi. And when I discovered his work, we found that he could be the right person for our film. So we managed to have a meeting with him. He read the script and liked it and decided to sign the choreography. And uh, Afaf being also a dancer, she looked for uh, the dancers. What we had agreed upon is that some of our actors needed to be professional ones because we have basically 10 main characters that at least few of them would be professional, such as Afaf, Sundus Balahsen, and Salah Bakri and Abdallah Badis, and that way you have a professional and a dancer with two non-professional. And Afaf being someone that coaches a lot at uh, the actors, she was able to um, to do that part of the job. And I think uh, she should say a little more. <laughs> <laughs> no, I I think that like when you do when you say contemporary dance today, you can't miss Sidi Arbi Sharqawi, and. Dance in cinema is something it's very hard to show some it's not always like as I love and I love to see dance because I'm coming from there so the dream was how to bring the the maximum of beauty to the cinema and for us like we can't find better than Sidi Arbi Sharqawi he's an amazing person he's an amazing choreograph with a, a huge generosity so really we, we work with him close, very um, close Closely, yes. uh, in the script and which is beautiful that he took the story and in each movement and each piece of, of dance in the, in the movie he tried to make movement that tell about the story. It's not only about movement beauty, no. And this is why like the, the dance in this movie is a contemporary dance and contemporary dance is about body language, about body expression. And this is how, for me, like it was like, I was not scared at all to work with a, a professional dancer, because on stage, this dancer, they saying a lot with their body. And the challenge was to bring them to the cinema, to show closer and you put your camera to tell more about this expression.
the, for, the forest is a character in the film, as, as, as you mentioned, and it is also a space where our characters move within. And uh, the idea was that very early on, and, and seeing that dancers body movement and even when they walk it is a continuity of a, of a choreography that we had discovered on stage and the idea was and this is was very appealing to us because as filmmakers we could with our own tools put that forward and celebrate it through certain camera movements following them long takes long shots uh, so yeah so if I can add about the forest, um, in the show when it starts, we put image on, on the big screen about environment. So and this is to show that they are an engaged company talking about environment, issue, all this stuff. And the idea was to put these people that they are talking about something big and huge such as the environment to find themselves in the environment and how to deal with that. That's why for us the forest was extremely important to bring them to, to where they are supposed, supposedly know, but they don't know anything, of course, and to start to deconstruct. This, this situation helped us to go through our character and go deeper and closer to them because we put them in this landscape that where we use so much the sound because for us it was extremely important to give voice to the forest and the forest by the sound was almost talking with them and dealing with them and bring them grab something and this is how they start slowly by slowly opening, uh, up. opening up and showing mm -hmm. something different the, the meaning is like to come back to what i just said about the forest and about this engaged company talking about talking about the environment and all that that the forest talking to them and saying stop go away leave us you destroy enough what you are looking for what you're trying to do and that's why it was very important for us to put to to, to put the monkey following them through this journey until the end there is this small attack where it's somehow telling them go out from here enough it's enough I don't know if you want to add something yeah <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, the, 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 that's why in the spectacle at the beginning to show that the 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 the, the troop is engaged or have environmental catastrophes and showing basically mankind uh, uh, what it's doing to the environment. So first of all, when they go to the forest, as 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 I've said, uh, here they are, but they actually don't know that much the forest. They don't uh, maîtrise it. The, the forest in order to like walk through it and at the same time the the, the monkeys as I have said again <laughs> <laughs> basically they're telling them get out of our world you you you're destroying everything we're not gonna let you destroy our forest and when safe at the end says I didn't see uh, the the lion because the lion there was the the lion of the atlas and he was killed and went to extension uh, at the beginning of the 20th century so it's basically humankind destroying everything so that's it's all of these I think are very symbolic messages and this is also what was interesting to us and to me about about the script it allowed space for all these serious issues about women and their bodies and having to make a choice in order to be a dancer and the environment etc uh, that I, we brought yeah, to backstage. I, I think we can add also something very extremely important for us is like these people they are coming from the arab world they are they are from tunisia algeria morocco and palestine and they find themselves in uh, in a landscape where it's like open and free for everyone and by the same time this people, this traveler, because when we are in a, in a troop, we, we, we travel from place to place and we don't know we belong to what anymore. And being in a free place like this, this is what I, I think connect them to themselves and let the question about who we are. Yeah, being in a hostile environment, maybe mm. let them to be closer and open up yeah. and us uh, discovering them through through the time passing. 